Welcome to Lisa's Ladle, where we're cooking big in small places. Hey guys, welcome to Lisa's Ladle. Today we're gonna to make a Mexican chopped salad with cilantro and a homemade lime vinaigrette dressing. So let's get cooking. Get our apron. Today's ingredients for the lime vinaigrette include one third cup of olive oil, a quarter cup of fresh chopped cilantro, three tablespoons of honey, four tablespoons of red wine vinegar, one eighth teaspoon of pepper, and a quarter teaspoon of salt. I'm gonna add my olive oil first. This is just a small carafe that I'm gonna make the homemade dressing in. I'm gonna add my vinegar. So we have four tablespoons of vinegar. I like to use the red wine vinegar. It gives a nice yummy flavor with the lime. To sweeten up that vinegar a little bit, we're gonna use three tablespoons of honey. I'm gonna add a half a teaspoon of pepper quarter teaspoon of salt, let my honey drip down. I'm gonna add the cilantro, and this is a quarter cup of fresh chopped cilantro to give it that Mexican flair. And then we're gonna squeeze in two fresh limes. You want about a quarter cup of lime juice. Fresh lime juice works best, but if all you have is the store-bought lime juice, that's fine. And it smells so citrusy and delicious already. I like to make the vinaigrette dressing first. That way I can put it in the refrigerator to chill. You can even make it ahead of time the night before if you prefer. Let all those juices and flavors simmer together. Now that we have all of our ingredients together in our carafe, put your lid on, give it a little shake and shimmy, and put it in your refrigerator. Now that we have the lime vinaigrette dressing chilling in the refrigerator, let's go ahead and put our Mexican chopped salad together. The ingredients that we're gonna use for the salad is a whole bag of romaine heart lettuce, cherry tomatoes, black beans drained and rinsed. This is corn from leftover corn from last night's dinner. Half cup of chopped cilantro, half of a cucumber, an avocado, and then about a half a cup of cubed Monterey Jack cheese and a half a cup of cubed cheddar cheese. So let's go ahead and start chopping and get this salad put together. I like little bite-sized pieces of cheese. If you're not a huge cheese fan, you can use either the cheddar or the Monterey Jack. I think the combination of the two make the salad yummy. I like to slice the, a little bit of the skin off of the cucumbers. And as you can see, I have it in like a little stack. I'm gonna chop it crosswise and then put it together and chop the length. This gives you little bite-sized pieces of cucumber that I think is delicious. Our cherry tomatoes, I like to have them, so I slice them in half. I have a handful here. You can take a bunch, about a cup, half a cup of cherry tomatoes. Add your half a cup of corn, half a cup of beans, chop it 
chopped cilantro, about a half a cup of chopped cilantro. I use the stems, but it's your preference. If you wanna just do leaves, you can stick your hand in and pull the leaves out and then chop up the leaves. But I have stems and leaves in there. Last but not least, our avocado. Be careful when you're cutting up an avocado, they can be tricky. This one's nice and ripe, so it's easy to get the seed and the skin off. Comes right out. For the avocado, I like to do turn it upside down and do long slices. And then across. And like I said, this one's nice and ripe. So it's melting, but it will be really good in the salad. All we have left to do now is toss. This salad serves six people, a serving size of six, and it takes us about 20 minutes of prep time, 30 minutes total time to put it all together. Give it a good shake, nice tossing, and let's serve it up. Here we are cooking big and small places in Lisa's ladle. The final touch, lime vinaigrette drizzle. Bon appetit. Thank, Thank you for joining us today on Lisa's ladle. I had fun cooking with you. I hope you enjoy this recipe, the Mexican chopped salad with its lime vinaigrette dressing. Next week, we're gonna be making Mexican chicken enchiladas. They're gonna be yummy and delicious. Hope to see you then. Time to stay alive Ignore the clock and the things that can find me And now I'm ready to see I'm ready to be the one